Hello children, in this video we are going to start question number 7 of your exercise 13.1 Continuation of previous videos So let's go in question number B7 of exercise 13.1 Let us read the question first and know it A tent is in the shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top So now we are going to work with tent Usually, we see the tent in this shape. A tent is in the shape of cylinder with conical top. So, we will work with this tent. Now, what we will have to do? Next in question is if the height and diameter of the cylindrical part are 2.1 and 4 meters respectively. Height of the cylindrical part. This is the height of cylindrical part. How much it is? 2.1. So we write the cylindrical part, which is not that the total height of the thing. Cylindrical portion is from here to here. And diameter is this. Of cylindrical portion. How much it is mentioned in the question? 4 meter. So this is the diameter of cylindrical portion and this is the height of cylindrical portion. But remember the tent are in two shape. It is this combined shape of cylinder. The bottom part is cylindrical and top is conical. And the slant height of the top is 2.8. So top is this. We are familiar with the slant height of the cone. This is the slant height of the cone. This is the slant height of the cone. So it is how much? 2.8 meter. Okay, so we have seen all that dimensions. The question is here, find the area of the canvas used for making the tent. So you go for a picnic or somewhere for camping and you are asked to make the tent this shape of this dimension. How much tarpaulin or canvas or any material what you are going to use for making the tent? How much you will be arranging? I mean you will be buying. That we are going to learn how to calculate. And also find the cost of the canvas. If the tent canvas of the tent at the rate of rupees 5 per 100 meter square. So we need to know first how much canvas is required. Then only cost we can find out. Let us start. A tent is in the shape. A tent is in the shape of a shape of a cylinder. Surmounted. surmounted by a conical top conical top so what we saw in diagram we just mentioned here that is the center uh, what is that the uh, tent now it has two portions so for cylindrical part for cylinders what we have height of cylinder that is 2.1 then next dimension what we have Diameter of the cylindrical part. So diameter 4 meters. And when we find we see the diameter, what we do? Immediately we make it half because we will use radius, not diameter. So for cylinder, what we need, we have got it here. Then for conical portion, for cone, it is 2.8. We need cut surface area of cone, L is needed, that is given. We need radius also. So, radius of cone will be what is the radius of cylinder? That is the radius of cone, 2, two meters. Everything now we need, we will find canvas, how much canvas required for the tent. Canvas required for the tent or to make the tent, both are same minimum. Canvas required for the tent. Where we are going to put canvas? 
on the curved surface area of cylinders. So curved surface area of cylinders. And also where we will put canvas on the curved surface area of cone. We have formula cylinder curved surface area 2 pi Rx and pi Rl is the curved surface area of cone. We use the dimensions. While using cylinder dimension, we will see cylindrical dimension, what we have mentioned here or in the diagram. Radius to height 2.1. It's done for cylinder. Now conical portion we will see. Pi 22 by 7. This is plus into radius to slag height 2.8. We will take common 2 to 22 by 7. That only here we find in both. So these two are out. Remaining 2 into 2.1. 2 Direct multiply right here. 2 ones are 2. 2 to support. Plus this 22 by 7 out to go. 2.8 remains. Can't, cannot cut it. So 22 into 4. 44 by 7. And this 8 to 10. 4 to 6 1 7. See so 7. 44 by 7 and 7.0. This 0 has no value. 7 ones are 7 ones are direct. If we remove this even 10 will come. Finally, same thing only will be 0, 0 cancel. So what do we find? We find 44 meter square canvas needed for this tent. So we have found how much canvas we need. We go to the market and buy it. While asking the cost is 500 rupees per meter square. Therefore, cost of canvas canvas at rupees 500 per meter square. 1 meter square cost 500. So, 44 meter square will be 44 into 500. 4 pipes are 20. 4 pipes are 20 plus 2, 22. And then 2 zeros. So we need 22,000 rupees for buying the canvas required for the tent. Alright, we will go now in next question. So let us start now question number 8. The question is here. From a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 centimeter and diameter 1.4 centimeter, a conical cavity of same height and same, same diameter is hollowed out. So, from a solid cylinder, we have a solid cylinder, and from this solid cylinder of same diameter and same height. a conical cavity is hollowed out. So, this portion is hollowed out, it is cut and taken out. This is happening in this question. And then question, another part of it is find the total surface area of the remaining solid. So, when this portion is cut out, we have to calculate the remaining solid surface area. So, let us start we are seeing in this question there are two shapes for cylindrical portion. So, for cylinder we see diameter and height are given height is 2.4 centimeter and diameter is 1.4 centimeter. When we see the diameter immediately we find radius because for surface area and volume whatever we need radius. So, 1.4 by 2, 2 7s are we can cut also 2 1s are 2, 0 we cannot cut 1 cannot cut divide. So, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 for cylindrical portion we need for cylinder 2 pi r h radius and height are there. Now, a conical cavity a conical cavity is hollowed out of same radius and height of same diameter 
of same diameter and radius of same height and diameter is hollowed out. So, it is cut out. So, height is same. So, for conical portion what will be the height? Same height that is 2.4 height will be 2.4 and question is telling same diameter that means, if diameter is same radius also will be same only. So, height of conical portion which is cut out that is 2.4 and radius is also 2 point, uh, 0.7. To calculate the surface area of cone we need slant height because formula is pi r l. So, we will calculate now slant height of the conical portion. Slant height of cone that is l you know already h square plus r square. Hi, height is 2.4 and radius is 0.7 square. 2.4 that is 24 square, 24 square what we do? We will remember that square root, 24 square is 576. So, we write 576 and then question comes where to put decimal 2.4 into 2.4. So, after 2 digit. 0.4.4 2 digit after decimal we put 7 square 49 where to put decimal 0 0.7 into 0 0.7 that means after 2 digit. So, 0 0.49 and this is 5.76 we will add 5 11 1 12 5 1 6. So, 6.25 just remind yourself 625 square root is what 25. 625 square root is 25. So, 6.25 square root is 2.5. So, we calculated slant height now whatever we need for calculating the surface area of the remaining solid everything we have. Now, let us go for finding the area. So, what area find the area of the remaining solid area or surface area or whatever it is mentioned total surface area. So, we are going to calculate total surface area of the remaining solid. So, now just think on which portion area you are going to calculate first cylindrical portion because from inside that cone is hollowed out. So, cut surface area of cylinder, cut surface area of cylinder. Then the inside we have hollowed already. So, a cone shape will appear inside that uh, cylinder. So, cut surface area of cone. Then when we are cutting it out this cone this full part is out, but that cylindrical top of cylinder will be there. Just imagine one log is there like this and from one side we are cutting out cone and taking. So, top of the cylinder will remain still there surface. So, plus area of one end of circle uh, cylinder, one end of cylinder, end of cylinder is end of cylinder is round circular shape or we can use one end of cylinder or base of cylinder same word it does not matter much cut surface area of cylinder 2 pi r h cut surface area of cone pi r l and area of the one of cylinder one end of the cylinder or area of the base of cylinder anything we can say pi r square. We use the value 2 pi 22 by 7 radius 2 point radius is 0 0.7 then height, height is 2.4 plus pi 22 by 7 radius we have used same radius only 0 0.7 slant height 2.5 then pi r square 22 by 7 radius is 0 0.7 into 0 0.7. 
then we do rest calculation here. Let us see now 2, 2 is not in all 22 by 7 0 0.7, 22 by 7 0 0.7 and 22 by 7 0 0.7. So, we take it common. So, let us do that 22 by 7 22 by 7 into 0 0.7 we took common. Now, first one what remain 2 into 2.4. So, 2 into 2.4 will be 4.8 plus 22 by 7 is out 0 0.7 is out. So, 2.5 remains here 22 by 7 is out 0 0.7 out. So, 0 0.7 remained. Here we can remove decimal put here 10, 7, 7 we cancelled, here 2 5s are 10, 2 11s are 22, you can cut or you can just wait for 10 your wish. Now into 7 5 12, 7 5 12 8, 8 is also there 8 5 13 7 20, then decimal 2 remains 2 2 4 4. <coughs> 4 to 6 to 8. So, 11 into 8 88 by 5 we divide it 88 divided by 5 5 ones are 5 3 8 5 sevens are 35 3 put decimal 3 six are, uh, 5 six are 30. So, we get what? 17.6 centimeter square is the surface total surface area of the remaining solid, but in question last line you see question is telling to the nearest 10 you find the surface area. So, nearest 10 how we will see it is 7.6. So, if it is more than 7.5 we will take it in round figure in nearest 10 18 centimeter square we can write approximately. So, we have done question number 8 hope you have understood learn it well and then the last question is 9 number. So, now we are in last question of this exercise that is question number 9. The question is an a wooden article was made by scooping out a hemisphere each from each end of a solid cylinder as shown in figure. If the height of the cylinder is 10 centimeter and its base of radius is basis of radius 3.5 centimeter find the total surface area of the article. So, see the figure it is here the solid looks like this. it is cylindrical we have a solid cylinder and then what is happening in this uh, this article one article something one object was made but how it was by scooping out a hemisphere from each end of the cylinder so we are cutting in hemisphere shape this cylinder this solid now looks like this. Now, this portion of course, this will be diameter, diameter of hemisphere or cylinder both will be same. This part is cut out, it is taken out this is this part both end from the cylinder it is scooped, it is cut out in simple word we say. So, the solid will be having now this shape just imagine this is out from here not here now in the cylindrical portion. So, what going to happen? It will look like both end the hemisphere is out. So, find the total surface area of this article. So, we will calculate area of this cut surface area of cylinder and then cut surface area of this hemisphere cut surface area of this hemisphere and then we will add them that will be the total surface area of the solid. So, let us start <coughs> <coughs> first 
for cylindrical portion dimensions are what height is 10 centimeter and radius is 3.5 centimeter height is given 10 radius is 3.5 then what how we have made the solid from both ends from both ends of cylinder two hemispherical two hemisphere is scooped out two hemisphere or instead of from it is ok from each end of the cylinder also we can from, from both end of the cylinder two hemisphere hemispheres are of same radius hemisphere are of same radius two hemisphere of same radius right of same radius are scooped out. Therefore, radius of hemisphere also will be it is 3.5. So, radius of hemisphere also will be 3.5 centimeter and nothing else we need in hemisphere we need only 2 pi r square that is radius straight we can go for what total surface area of the total surface area of the solid. So, which portion we will calculate cut surface area of cylinder of cylinder plus 2 into cut surface area of hemisphere because these both hemispherical shape are of same radius. So, 2 into cut surface area of hemisphere. We have both the formula 2 pi r h for cylinder 2 into cut surface area of hemisphere 2 pi r square. Just do the calculation and complete it 2 pi 22 by 7 radius 3.5 and height is 10 that is for cylindrical portion. Now, for hemisphere there are 2 hemispheres. So, these 2 we used 2 is in another 2 is in formula pi is 22 by 7 and radius is same 3.5. So, 3.5 square 3.5 into 3.5. 5. Take common 2, we can take common 22 by 7 also we can take common 3.5 also we can take common. So, these 3 are common they are out 2 out 22 by 7 out 3.5 out 10 is remaining here 2 is out these 2 remains 22 by 7 out 3.5 out 3 into 3.5 remains. Remove decimal put here 10 7 ones are 7 fives are 2 1s are 2 5s are we get again we can cut 5 1s are 5 1s are 22 into inside the bracket 10 <coughs> 3.5 into 2 7.0. So, 22 into 10 plus 7 17 multiply 17 2s are 34 3 17 2s are 34 3. 37, 17 2s are 34, 3 remains again 17 2s are 34, 3, 37 centimeter square. So, 374 centimeter square is the surface area of the solid. So, we are finishing today this exercise, children. Now, we will start in next video from exercise 13.2. Hope these videos are helpful to you please do share and subscribe, so that you will be getting um, new videos with new lessons and uh, learn it well, do well. See you in next video then.